Tierney. Kyler, how you doing today, man? I'm doing good. How are you? Awesome. Thanks, yeah, buddy. Appreciate great to you hopping on. Yeah, great to chat with you again. I know we had you right before you came into the National Football League. And this week, you're the yeah. Snickers, you got the Snickers chain, man. I hope they sent, like, boxes and boxes of Snickers as well. Um, you know, we'll get to that in just a second here. But I got to ask this question because I'm having this internal debate with our producer who said, you know, Kyler threw that Hail Mary. Hail Mary. He's calling it a Hail Murray. Um, but it wasn't a Hail Mary. I know what a Hail Mary looks like. It's every, it's all goes. You know, one guy's got to be short. One guy's got to be in the middle. One guy's got to be a back. You guys were running like a post and a, and a curl and a, and, a, and a crossing route. And then DeAndre Hopkins was just down the field. What was the actual play call on that final play of the game against the Bills? Uh, it, it's actually a play we work every week. Um, you know, I don't know if y'all remember, but, uh, you know, Aaron Rodgers and the Packers, they hit, uh, they hit the Cowboys on a couple years back down the sideline to uh, Jared Cook, I think it was. But, yes. Uh, one of the plays, yeah, you just, uh, it was designed for me to roll left. They actually, you know, they did a good job of um, containing me or trying to. You know, I had to make one do miss. And um, at that point, man, uh <laughs> It was it was really like it was just me and D Hop on the field because I swear I, I locked in on D Hop. Um, I saw him. I, I let it go. I knew I had a good shot. You know, just the I knew I knew I put it. I knew he was gonna, it was a catchable ball. You know, yeah. it left my hand. I didn't know he was gonna come down with it, but you know that's why he is who he is. He did the rest. You know, Kyler, it's interesting because Mario Addison had a shot at you. And, you know, just reading the research on, on how they wanted to defend you this week, it was don't don't lunge. Don't go after Kyler Murray because you're going to miss. Yeah, they wanted to square you up and just make him, like, be uncomfortable in the pocket. Instead, he lunges at you. He misses. It, but take us through that moment as you're – you know, scooting yourself to the left. Now, we know you played baseball, so you're scooting yourself to the left. You know you got to get your body turned and, you know, rotate your arm a little bit more so you can get a good throw on that. But you know you're getting bared down on by another linebacker. I mean, were you were you thinking about it consciously or was it just reaction? No, I mean, it's definitely in your head. You know, that's that's uh, that's like the last play of the game, you know, or, or second to last in, in our heads. You know, we got another chance. But, yeah. Um, yeah. That being one of those moments, you know, for me, I knew there was no way I could get tackled without at least getting the ball to the end zone. You know, there's no, you know, as a quarterback, you got to give us a chance. And uh, that was really my whole mindset right there was, you know, this guy, this guy can't tackle me. I know he's got the angle. Um, I had to hit him with a stutter. Uh, luckily, it worked. <laughs> and um, dead leg. Just, just kinda, yeah, just kind of, just kind of buy myself enough time to give D Hop a chance or whoever else a chance. And um, like I said, man, he he made a he made one hell of a catch against. Those are three dudes. I think all three of them have been to the Pro Bowl. So I mean, two of them uh, have been, yeah, yeah, at least. Yeah, so I mean, that, that's a that is a hell of a catch. Kyler, how many how many quarterbacks in football can make that play? I know you're a humble kid, but how many quarterbacks do you think can do what you did yesterday? I mean, I, I, mean, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I the, the I don't you know the the difficulty of the throw. Um, it it seemed normal to me just because you know that's just me. Just you know, God gets the ability just trying to make a play. Um, but obviously, if we want to get down to the you know the details and break it down, that's definitely uh, it's definitely hard to do. Um, let alone just get outside of the, the rusher, just because he really, you know, I, I think a lot of quarterbacks probably don't get out of, outside of him and then the play's mm-hmm. dead. So, mm-hmm. so we're, we're talking to Kyler Murray, and uh, Kyler's with us here on Tiki and Tierney CBS Sports Radio. Yeah, you know, we had you on a few times, as we mentioned. Uh, the first time we had you, you didn't. We, I mean, you probably knew internally, you didn't divulge it on the show. Which way you were going to go, that was the huge speculation, going baseball, going football, big money with the A's, big prospect, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, the, Do you still, do you miss baseball? I mean, the way you've transitioned to football, it, it's almost scary how easy you make it look this early in your career. But you got to miss the diamond a little bit, right? I mean, you got you to gotta miss baseball. Yeah, I mean, it was, uh, I mean, I played, I played, you know, I played football, baseball, basketball growing up my whole life. You know, I, I miss basketball. I mean, I didn't even really get to play basketball as much as, uh, you know, I may have wanted to. But, yeah, I miss I miss baseball um, for sure. You know, just being in the box, being out there with the guys, competing. Um, but I don't think, you know, um, you know, I, I, I know I'm where I'm supposed to be at. I don't think, you know, if I, if I would have chose baseball, I think I would have been missing the hell out of football <laughs> a lot more. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, for me, I wish I could do both. Um, you know, I, you could. I, I never. So, you yeah, could. I, 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 I definitely feel like I could. You know, I never say never, but as of right now, man, I'm, uh, 
I'm having fun doing what I'm, you know, doing what I love. Wait till you get that, you know, contract after your fifth yep. year option. Then you can like start dabbling with baseball like Dion did. There for you a go. Bit. Got wiggle, wiggle room after that. Huh? Yeah, that's exactly right. right. Now, now, Kyler, you're 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 off to. I mean, congrats on the success, rookie of the year, obviously last year, and you're uh, you're, you're doing a heck of a job this year. Big time win so far. Seattle was a big one. This Bills team uh, yesterday that was a big one as well. But we, I mean, as a as a show, we had doubts about n- not you because we watched you ball at Oklahoma, but your head coach. Uh, Cliff Kingsbury hadn't had a ton of success in college, and all of a sudden he's he's anointed. And, I mean, BT and I were talking earlier, he might be coach of the year this year. H- tell us a little bit about your coach and how he's been able to take little experience from uh, in the NFL, really none when he came in, to now having a, a viable team. You're, you're tied in first in the West, and you guys feel dangerous every single week. Yeah, no, I mean, just just like me, um, you know, he he was the – I mean, you can call him a rookie because, I mean, last year he was just the first year in the league. I mean, it's definitely an adjustment that me and him both had to go through. Uh, obviously, you know, we were familiar with each other, but we never had to, you know, we never been with each other every day working on offense, you know, seeing what I like, seeing what he likes. Um, you know, we had to we had to work with those kinks, and, you know, he had to get comfortable. I had to get comfortable. So it was just, you know, we, we, know, we understand we're in this together. Um, mm-hmm. and, and people, you know, try to knock them for the whole, you know, the record at Texas Tech. You can't yeah. really expect – he did. He did the most of what he had. I mean, uh, we're gonna we're gonna be completely honest. I mean, you don't. <laughs> you got you got Oklahoma. You got Oklahoma State. You had, you had Baylor. Like all those teams were good when he was at Tech. So it's like, it's just tough. Um, he, and I, I don't really uh, I don't really buy into that little argument. But yeah. nah, he's a great coach. He's a players' coach. I mean, everybody loves him. Uh, he's got swag. He brings swag. He lets he lets guys you know do their own thing and be who they are. So um, mm-hmm. he, he's hard not to like. Yeah. Now, we, now you talked about the collaborative effort uh, as you guys prepare, and I know that that happens with every offensive coordinator, you know, quarterback. Do you like this play? Do you like this? Do you like this and that other? I mean, how collaborative is it? Because you guys come from unique uh, backgrounds in college. It's now infiltrating into the NFL. I, I love watching it because I love the college game, but I love seeing the college, uh, some of these college principals being uh, excelling, not just being used, but excelling. Uh, in the NFL, heck, you even got Daniel Jones running zone reads for 34 yards t- touchdowns. I mean, how 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 collaborative are you guys working together when you put game plans together? Um, yeah, you know, I, I think uh, last year we, you know, that was just kind of a testing testing out process, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't. Um, you know, towards the end of the year we kind of got rolling, uh, and then going into this year is full go. You know, getting D hop in the off season, another year in the system, uh, everybody being more comfortable. Um, but, you know, as far as the game plan goes and stuff like that, you know, he – if I'm not comfortable with it, if I don't like it, um, we're not running it. So, you know, that's another reason why he, he played the position, he understands the position. And, um, I, I mean, that only – you know, that can only help the quarterback out, make make the quarterback as comfortable as, as possible and, uh, you know, see where we go. So we're talking to Kyler Murray, uh, and he's just uh, – I mean, he's doing his thing. Just watch the games. He's just unbelievable. He's with us here on Tiki and Tierney, CBS Sports Radio. And he was honored this week. He's got the uh, – he won the Snickers chain, which is the hungriest player. And uh, some of the names are great. We had Josh Jacobs. He won it in, uh, in week one. He had three touchdowns. Claypool from the Steelers when he had that four-touchdown game. Devontae Adams a couple of weeks back. Dalvin Cook. Uh, the company is, is, is pretty deep and pretty esteemed. So – uh, tell us a little bit about this. It's a cool initiative, and uh, what is it all about, though, so everybody knows what's happening with this, Kyler? Oh, man. Uh, Snickers being one of my favorite uh, favorite candies. <laughs> you know, I've, I've been eating Snickers since I was a kid, so for me it's just an honor to uh, receive this chain. Um, you know, you obviously, you, get, you, you just said it. You said all the names. These guys these guys are balling every Sunday. Um, you know, to be on this list with the best of the best, special deal for me. Uh, but, you know, this, this chain is a dope, just a dope deal. Um, and for me, like I said, man, just to be up here with these guys, uh, huge honor. Let me ask you this. And, again, I, I preface it with because we know that you're humble, but we also know that, that you know the deal. <laughs> you, know, you know what you're doing. You know what others are doing. This summer on this show, I said that you would be in the MVP conversation. And a lot of people thought I was nuts, not because they didn't like your talent, but they just thought it was a little bit too early. They didn't know if you had the pieces around you. By the way, this is before the Hopkins trade. And – I, I stuck with it, and and I watch you play, and I say, all right, well, I mean, Russell Wilson's had a rough month. He's great, but he's had a rough month. He's had a ton of picks and some turnovers. Rodgers was a little quiet yesterday in Lambeau. All right, Tom Brady bounced back. Mahomes is Mahomes. But as, as being as humble as you can, do you believe that you belong 
in the heart. I don't mean on the outside, right in the middle of the MVP conversation. Because I do. Uh, um, I mean. Come on. <laughs> as far as MVP deals goes, I mean, I, I, I'm just, I think that me personally as a player, yes. Uh, regardless of the MVP, um, as a player, for sure. Well, you know, what's got to be tough, though, because you know, I know you have some fans there, but the energy that's building around this team, uh, you know, with COVID st- spiking, I'm, I'm sure you're not hanging out at bars and, you know, you're kind of doing your thing and obviously, you know, being responsible like every NFL player just about is. So have you been able to feel the – or how do you feel the growing energy and, and enthusiasm within the Cardinals fan base when there's only a few fans at the stadium – and you're not outside mixing it up with uh, with the locals out, outside away from the field. So it almost feels it, it's unfair, but it is what it is. How's the city responding to this team? They got to be jacked, man. I mean, I, I would assume so. Uh, you know, having having some pretty down years after you know going to uh, I think it was the NFC Championship, the Super Bowl. Um, you know, um, and then you know, kind of going from first to worst. Uh, yeah, I, I would I would hope that you know the the state's excited and um, jacked up about what we're doing. Obviously, you know, this isn't, this isn't easy. Uh, you know, we got we still got a lot of hard work to do. Uh, we got to keep grinding because uh, any given Sunday you can be beat. But uh, so far, I mean, we're, we're, uh, we're playing good. But like I said, it's, it's easy to um, kind of feel yourself right now. So I don't uh, – I'm not really – I'm not really about that. Yeah, no, I hear what you're saying, and you you got a great you know, group of wide receivers from um, Andy to Fitz to Hopkins. But when that that trade went down, obviously you were excited about it. But your wide receiving group is as good as any in the NFL right now. Um, you know what's it what's it been like with with DeAndre Hopkins there? Obviously he's been great for a couple of years, and uh, which is our first time asking you about it, even though we're halfway through the season. He he's amazing. Yeah, I mean, in my eyes, he's the best in the game. Um, and he's, uh, I don't know, man. He, he, he just does what he does. I mean, he, he <laughs> you know, we've been watching it for years. Um, and now that he's on my team, man, he just adds a different dynamic to the offense. You know, as soon as we got him, we got tremendously better. Because that just not only, you know, not having him, but just uh, Fitz, Seekirk, uh, Andy, Dan, you know, our running backs. Um, and we got guys that, you know, we, we don't even get to see on Sunday just because, not everybody gets to play, and that's just the situation it is in the NFL. But um, you know, we we got a lot of depth. Uh, I'm really confident in all of our guys. I mean, having D Hop just takes you know kind of took our offense to the next level. You know, I don't think we asked you this at the Super Bowl. We're talking to Kyle Murray of the Cardinals, their quarterback, of course, here on Tiki and Tierney, CBS Sports Radio. Uh, baseball, I could probably throw a few names out there, even though you're too young for Ricky Henderson. But I could imagine the way you played. You know what what players you loved watching and trying to emulate on the bases and doing your thing as a baseball player. I would guess your answer would be Michael Vick because there was such a, a shortage of, of players that played that style. Uh, but who was your guy growing up? Who were the quarterbacks? that? Because they were all big and strong and usually couldn't move a ton. Uh, who were the guys that you looked at and said, man, that's that's the quarterback. I, I want to play like that. I love that guy's vibe. I mean, I, I just I have the poster in, in my room. Who were the guys? There weren't many of them. Yeah, uh, honestly, yeah, Vick, Vick was the – Mike Vick was the dude, um, you know, if we're talking strictly dudes, yeah, he was he was the dude. But uh, man, I, I love Aaron Rodgers. Um, you know, Tom Brady, obviously, he, he's just the, uh, you know, he's got all the Super Bowls. Everybody, you know, everybody's chasing him. Um, uh, Johnny Manziel, you know, he he had the swag, uh, you know, stuff he played, how he played. <laughs> um, but those are those are, you know, there weren't many guys my size. So yeah. Russell Wilson, obviously. Um, even though like me and Russ, we play a little differently, but. Uh, you know, him being my stature, you know, seeing a guy my height do it, you know, it just gives you confidence. So, they're, they're, like I said, there's not many guys just because I'm 5'10". But, and, you know, like you said, everybody's big and strong and stands in the pocket at 6'5", staring over people. But, mm-hmm. um, yeah, Mike, Michael Vick was for sure the, the number one guy, though. Yeah, we're, we're going to let you go here in a second, Kyler. But, I, you know, I, I think this, and it's Vick was probably a competitor. Randall Cunningham was a competitor here. Uh, obviously, Lamar Jackson is. He won the MVP. But uh, there's a chance you're going to be the you know the best, and it's newish uh, because of the college offense is how they've infiltrated the best dual purpose running or quarterback uh, in in the history of the National Football League. I mean, you're eighth in rushing right now in the NFL, which is which is crazy. But you're also completing 68 percent of your passes. Do you look at yourself as this? 
um, era defining this quarterback changing type of player because that's really what you were doing, Lamar, Lamar as well. But you guys are validating this in a way that I don't think has ever been done before. Yeah, I just think the combination of being able to, you know, throw it and move, um, you know, at a high, uh, you know, at, at an elite level, um, you just never, you know, you haven't really. You haven't really seen that before besides Michael. Like I said, Michael Vick, mm-hmm. uh, you know, Russell Moves. Uh, but, man, it, it's um, – I, I, I'm just trying to – you know, I just do me. Every time I touch the field, go hard for my guys, try to try to win it, uh, try to win each and every Sunday. Um, obviously, people are now, you know, putting respect on names and stuff like that. But, you know, I remember everybody – just yesterday, everybody was talking, talking shit, telling me I couldn't do this type of uh, – I really don't buy into it. I just, like I said, I just do me, play my game, and uh, you know, try try to lead my team to victories. Yeah, well, listen, it, was, awesome. a, it yeah. was a highlight for the ages. We're gonna let you run. Very generous with your time. Congrats on being named the hungriest player, getting the Snickers chain. It's yeah, uh, it, it's it, it, it's appointment TV now, my man. We love watching you. Thanks for hopping back on, Kyler. Good luck, Kyler. Thank you all, Thank you all for having me. You got it, buddy. There you go. Yep, Kyler. they play Thursday night, too. Prime time. That's right. Thursday night against the Seattle Seahawks in Seattle mm. this time. And if we all remember, it's only a couple of weeks ago. That was a shootout, man. What was mm-hmm. the total? Let's see. As they usually are with Seattle since their defense is horrendous. So they had they had 519 total yards, this, the Cardinals. Okay. And the... And the Seahawks had 572 total yards. Sounds like the over to me. Thousand yards of offense in that game. Sounds like the over to me. Yeah, right. (laughs) (laughs) He's good. Hey, listen, he is humble, but you can tell uh, he he knows. He knows when he walks on the field, as every great athlete or whatever knows when they walk on or into their specific venue or platform, he knows. It's just there's not many guys that can stop him. He's a difference maker, man. Can't stop him, you know? Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell to be notified when we drop fresh content.